A solution containing a mixture of metal cations was treated with dilute hydrochloric acid, so HCl, and no precipitate was formed. Next, H2S was bubbled through the acidic solution, a precipitate formed and was filtered off. Then the pH was raised to about 10, and H2S will, uh, hydrogen sulfide H2S was bubbled, uh, bubbled through the solution. A precipitate again formed and was filtered off. Finally, the solution was treated with sodium carbonate solution, which resulted in no precipitation. Which metal ions were definitely present, which were definitely absent, and which may or may not have been, in the, have been present in the original mixture? So this problem is really asking you um, a couple of things. Is asking you to recognize your uh, solubility chart. So if you if we have our first question here, and let me uh, let's make this a little smaller. Yeah. So if I had, so what we're doing is again we have a metal of, we have a mixture of metal cations and we have these guys here. So we have all these cations here, and what we're going to do we're going to treat it with HCl. So we have HCl plus we have some type of cation here. So maybe I'll just write, um, I'll just write Z in this case, Z plus, and then this is going to yield, I have Z and then Cl plus H2, because then you're going to get some, uh, some gas here. Um, but it's also saying next H2S was, bu was bubbled through the solution. So that means for this cation, we have we know it's, it's a, there's a, going to be a sulfide as the anion. So what we can do is that we can actually um, we can rewrite this as HCl plus Z, and then um, bond it with the sulfur. But again, we don't know how many um, Z here is just the metal in this case, and we don't know how many sulfurs there are. And you make H2S plus ZCl. And this here is a very very important here. Um, but it's saying here, next H2S was developed through the acidic solution, and the precipitate was formed here. So it says precipitate was formed and filtered off. So in this case here, um, ZCl could be one of our one of our precipitates that are being formed here um, with the metal here. So we're mostly focused on this guy and whether or not it's soluble or insoluble. So we care about if it's soluble or soluble it's asking if precipitate is formed here so that's really important so in this case here it's going to be insoluble um, for if a precipitate were to be formed and then what we're doing is we're raising the pH to about 8 and then H2S was then bubbled off through the solution and again a precipitate again was formed and it was filtered off so now we're raising the pH um, so we're raising we're cut we can think of it as we're raising the the pH of um, uh, in solution, so you can you can think of it as uh, we're not treating it with uh, hydrochloric acid. We're treating it with maybe some base, and then it was finally treated with sodium carbonate solution. So sodium carbonate is Na2CO3, and then which resulted in no precipitation, which means it's going to actually be um, be fully in uh, uh, it's going to be fully in solution. So I'm going to add. Um, some type of uh, compound that we make here. So this will be our, uh, I'll just write precipitate here. And this results in no precipitate. So everything is in solution here. So it's asking us, again, which metal uh, ions were definitely present or were absolutely, were definitely uh, absent here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to look at our solubility chart. And it says here, um, we, we want to look at this first step here because we're again we're treating this metal cations with dilute HCl first and no precipitate formed. So when we're looking at Cl here, we know HCl here is going to be our anion, or Cl here is going to be anion, and the metal is going to be our cation, right? We have all these metals for our cation here. So it says in Cl minus, it's actually soluble, which is good, except for these these compounds. So we have silver, mercury, and lead. So we have silver, which is this guy here, mercury, which is H2+, and Pb2+, which is going to be our lead here. So let me write that down. So basically, ZCl is soluble. However, it's not soluble, or it forms a precipitate um, when we're in HG2+, Pb2+, 
2 plus and also in 3 plus. But everything else is soluble, which is great. And then it's asking us, um, then the pH was raised to about 8, and H2S was again bubbled through the solution. A precipitate again formed and was filtered off. So we can uh so what we have here would be so again we're 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 adding this h2s again and we are um adding it with the insoluble solution so it's either um mercury lead or and uh, and silver here we're adding it to the h2s solution and then we're going to make another compound here so let me write that down so in this step and i'm not going to confuse with this step so we have again so we either know we have these three cations, so maybe I'll make this a YCl plus H2S. And then we're gonna get back HCl, right? Uh, so we get YS plus HCl. And YS here is really, really important because it depends if it's mercury sulfide, lead sulfide, or silver sulfide here. So if we look at our compounds here, it says this is going to be insoluble, right? And as you can see, uh, precipitate formed again, which is good, and was filtered off. So now we know that it's insoluble except for uh, group group one here, uh, two and four. And these guys here are all transition metals, so you don't have to worry about that, which means that they're actually all, uh, this could be all part of the solution here. And finally, it's treated with um, sodium carbonate here. So we have this compound. So we have YS plus N. A two CO three, and this is going to get me, um, and simply just a double displacement reaction, right? So I get Y. Don't worry about balancing here because we don't really know the compounds. So Y carbonate plus NaS here or Na two S. Sorry, this one we can we can do sodium sulfide and something carbonate here. And we know Y here. Um, if you look at our solubility chart, we have our carbonate here, right? So it says insoluble except group one A and NH4 plus. So except 1H4 plus, and it says here, uh, it results in no precipitation. So it's actually, um, it's actually going to, um, it's actually going to uh, be part of the, about be part of the solution. So what we can do here is, I'm, gonna I'm just gonna check the answer here first. And it says the first group of metals precipitate, precipitate in dilute HCl. Oh, these are three solutions. Okay, 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 that makes sense then. Um, so these are three separate solutions. Okay, so the first one, so actually these guys are all going to be separate. So the first solution we, we, we stated here, right? These guys are our compounds here. So it's just mercury, lead, and silver, and which we got that here, lead, mercury, and silver, which is good. Um, sorry, this is silver, mercury, and lead, my bad. And it says there's no precipitate absence of metal ions, so which is good because we know that these guys here are insoluble in this compound. Uh, the second second guy here, second um, group containing metal compounds which precipitate with H2S ions is going to be uh, this chemical reaction here. And it's going to, in the solution, are chromium, iron, and uh, iron and zinc here. And we know that because if we look at our solubility table, we look at S here. And these guys are all insoluble, right? If you go, if you go back into the chart here and I cross out mercury you cross out silver and you cross out our lead here and you cross out all the ions that are um, group one to an, an ammonium so for example barium is crossed out here lithium magnesium um, and so on you would be left with zinc two plus you're left with chromium and you're left with iron here which is correct where's iron f e Fe2 plus. So that's the basic solution in the third one here. And then there's finally the sodium carbonate solution here, which I'm going, I denote it as this guy here. Uh, the presence of this is going to be, if you look at the carbonate ion here, it's, it's going to be this guy here. Everything's insoluble except group 1A and ammonium, right? So we're looking at chemicals that could be in group 1, um, uh, that cannot be in group 1 because we're looking at precipitate here. So in this case, it would be um, whatever is left, right? So you have um, so you have chromium, iron, uh, chromium, iron, and zinc, 
and then for or sorry, I think I mixed this up, mixed this up. And then the H2S ions here are mercury, uh, tin, antimony, and cadmium, right? Because this here is we're looking at the S2 minus here, and we're looking at all the metals that are not in one two. And then for the basic solutions here, uh, we have uh, chromium, iron, and zinc. And then finally, with the sodium carbonate solution, we look at CO3, and we look at everything's insoluble except for group one. So it really, this question really is. Um, so the only thing that's left are the group two elements here. So basically, that's kind of the question. Which so the solution here is correct. But what we're, what we're doing here is we're basically kind of uh, breaking down um, the logic behind solubility. And when we look at this question more carefully here, we're still looking at uh, we have different mixtures here. So we have acidic solution, we have a normal solution, and we have a basic solution here. And what we're doing here is we're looking at, oh, what are we reacting with? Oh, we're reacting with HCl. What are we reacting with? We're reacting with hydrogen sulfide, and we're, and we're reacting it with a basic solution with all of these guys here. So you can think of it as you're reacting some type of metal cation with an acid with a base or with a H2S, and then we're reacting with a sodium carbonate, and you're seeing which one actually um, precipitates out of the solution. So that means you know that it's insoluble, and which, uh, which of these compounds are indeed uh, soluble in water here. So, for example, um, your reader right here says, finally, the solution was treated with sodium carbonate, which resulted in no precipitate. No precipitation just means it's going to be fully in solution, so there's no precipitate in the solution, so everything is soluble. So we're basically just going to look at the carbonate here, which is CO3, so it's insoluble except in group 1, A, and NH4 here. So basically, we have to look at the compounds to think about uh, which ones here are group 1A here. And we can, act, we can look at our periodic table if we want to figure out which of these metals belong in that group here. So that's going to be the solution uh, for this problem. Solution is correct. So it's really testing your knowledge about the solubility rules. And usually you're actually given the solubility rules on a test. Um, like you're not you're not really expected to memorize this just because it is quite a bit to memorize here uh, with all of these compounds here so solution is correct 